We spoke with a store manager at a fireworks store just across the border in New Hampshire, and she says it appears that Massachusetts authorities are bringing back a classic peck technique to deal with this crackdown known as the stakeout. Outside this fireworks store in Seabrook, New Hampshire, about three quarters of the cars have Massachusetts license plates. I probably plan to get about uh, $200, $250 worth of fireworks. This Massachusetts resident says this time he'll be taking the fireworks to Maine, where they are legal. But he says sometimes he brings them back to Massachusetts, where they are totally banned. Did it make you a little nervous? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. Because yeah. you don't want to get fined, you don't want to get... Uh, um, you know, in trouble. You don't want to get on anybody's list. The store manager says last weekend, for the first time in about 10 years, she noticed Massachusetts State Police videotaping customers in the parking lot and writing down license plates. I'm very proud of the work that our fire explosion investigation unit does. A few days later, state police showed off more than 2,200 fireworks they say they seized coming from out of state. 18 people are now facing charges. The use of those fireworks, you know, it impacts, uh, you know, uh, family pets. It in impacts veterans suffering from PTSD, and it impacts, you know, families that are trying to put kids to bed at a reasonable time. Under state law, people who sell fireworks can be fined up to $1,000 and sent to jail for up to a year. People who possess fireworks can be fined up to $100 but no jail. The store manager in Seabrook says so far this crackdown doesn't seem to be keeping customers away. We haven't seen any any blowback from that here. I mean we have lots of customers that are happy when they come in and they're happy when they leave so um, we haven't seen any any impact really. Now some states allow some fireworks but not others. Massachusetts has one of the strictest bans in the nation. Even sparklers are not allowed. Live in Salisbury, David Beenick, WCVB News Center 5. David, thank you.